Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaur Museum. Season 4, The Large Herbivorous Dinosaurs. Wei Chi the Shantungosaurus, Large Duck-Billed Dinosaur. Scientific name, Shantungosaurus. Period, Late Cretaceous. Fossils found in Asia, China. Description. With a body length of 15 meters, Shantungosaurus is one of the largest duck-billed hadrosaurid dinosaurs. It was physically strong and usually walked on all four limbs. Occasionally, when it ate, it stood on the two hind limbs. Wei Chi the Shantungosaurus's huge body was 15 meters long and was the largest duck-billed dinosaur. The huge body of herbivorous dinosaurs was always an effective defensive weapon. As long as there was easier prey, predators never picked the big guys. Wei Chi the Shantungosaurus's head was large and long, with a duck-like flat beak. This is a common feature of all hadrosaurs, with the name hadrosaurs means duck-billed dinosaurs. Most hadrosaurs had many teeth because they processed a lot of food. They not only ate fast but also chewed their food, which was different than many other herbivorous dinosaurs like sauropods, which could only swallow food whole. When chewing, they used the teeth in the upper and lower jaws to grind the food into a pulp before swallowing it. Moreover, they never worried about the teeth getting broken or being used for too long or too often because the teeth were continuously replaced. Wei Chi the Shantungosaurus had 1,500 teeth, which helped it to chew efficiently, greatly increasing its chances of survival. Wei Chi the Shantungosaurus had a short and thick neck, strong and long tail. It had strong limbs and ran quickly. The Jiao Lai Basin in Shandong, where Wei Chi lived, was once a place alive with many dinosaurs. These included Cynoceratops, with a large pointed horn on its nose and 13 sharp horns on its head frill, the only advanced large ceratopsian found in China. The smaller Zhucheng Ceratops, also a member of the Ceratopsian, finally Ankylosaurus and small Ornithopods. Being gentle, Wei Qi the Shantungosaurus always lived with them in peace. They even watched out for each other. If anyone noticed a predator getting too close, they would sound each other out so everyone could get away swiftly. Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaur Museum. Join our writer, Miss Yang Yang, and artist, Mr. Zhao Chuang, and start this fantastic journey. <laughs>